classes in session. What's up y'all? Thanks for tuning in to my channel. So this is going to be part one of surviving narcissism. This is going to be the monetary manipulation episode. So yeah, this is gonna be a multiple part series, okay? So yeah, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, hit the bell button so you know when I post my content and let's get into the video. This is gonna be my notes for the whole video. So if you see me looking down, this is what I'm looking at, all right? If you wanna take notes, go ahead and take notes, but I mean, this video is gonna be up on my channel, so it doesn't really matter. I wanna start with number one, and this one can be a bit tricky. All right, <clears throat> this is showering you with gifts or spending money on you early on. So in the beginning, and why I'm saying this is tricky is when narcissists come into your life, they want to control the situation, right? And one of the ways that they do it is with money. Now, I'm not saying that everybody that you know wants to spend money on you is a narcissist, no. Some people just genuinely like you, they really wanna, you know, treat you. But some people are using money as a tool of control. So in the beginning, they do it to make you feel special, all right, before they, you know, the devaluing part of the relationship. They like the control that they have over the direction of how the situation is going. So, you know, they'll try to pay for certain things, pay for your food. It starts off with food. It always starts with food, but it can go up to like, maybe them paying your rent or like paying certain things for you, you know? Um, maybe like a bill or something like that. Another reason why they do this is because they want to feel good about themselves. All right, it makes them feel good. Some of them go to people and tell their friends or you know, whoever is around them, hey, I did this for this person. Oh, just for accolades, just for, you know, people to say, oh, you're such a good person. And it's really, you know, just for show so that they can look a certain way or appear a certain way in front of other people. So number two is financial competition. So this is not healthy competition, financial competition. So these people can compete with you by trying to make more money than you. Okay, um, let's say that you're making, I don't know, 30,000 a year. Um, they will try to make 40,000 a year. Okay, they'll try to make more than you. Not because they want to try and help you or help themselves. No, they don't want to feel like somebody is making more than them. Okay? And then another part of it is working and creating more because the other is doing well out of jealousy. They may even try to um, be in your business or go into business with you. You might want to like, Let's say you have an idea. They may want to capitalize off of your idea with you or say that that's their idea when it was you that thought about it first. Okay, you created the idea first. They want to come in without putting in any type of work and say, you know, they created this, they, they are part of this, something like that, right? And then another point is they try to sabotage your job, your business, and your reputation. So these people could be very, very jealous of how you carry yourself, the kind of businesses that you have, maybe the way that you conduct business, okay? Maybe you're very business savvy, um, you know people in high places, or like you know people that could um, help you with certain things, all right? They may not know certain people, or they, not, they may not know certain things, and it makes them, you know, it makes them feel some type of way. It makes them feel, you know, that energy of jealousy, envy. Point number three, financial abandonment. So, um, this starts off slow and small, okay? So, it's gonna start off as broken promises. So they're gonna promise you certain things. Let's say um, they said that they were going to 
I don't know, get you a gift for your birthday. Something small like that, right? And come your birthday, they didn't get you anything, all right? They're just like, oh, well, like, they don't even tell you how you bring it. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, it's little things. Like, I have one here. Sometimes they'll say they'll like, pay a bill for you. Um, they, they'll help you if you were like, struggling or in trouble, they end up not helping you, like, they're unable to follow through on plans, okay, especially plans, so whenever y'all make plans or have a date, you know, the date comes, maybe, you know, they say something, something came up, but y'all had something planned, y'all had something set in stone, no, they probably don't want to spend money, okay, they probably put money on something else and they don't want to tell you why well, it's not the most and they don't want to tell you, all right? The next point is financial immaturity. All right, so that's like spending excessively on like material things or things that they really don't need. Just material things like clothes, shoes, stuff like that. Overspending on like indulgences, indulgences like alcohol, food. Another way people don't really think about is like financial, maturity or like even financial control is if somebody is like staying with you or in a relationship or y'all don't have something set to where you know somebody's got to pay something and you're just staying with you like the whole time without offering to pay anything any type of rent or like a bill or anything like that maybe they don't have a job and it's like okay you're staying with somebody you're not really helping them like that. You haven't really put in that much energy as the other person has. Maybe say you have put in energy into the relationship and they're just basically a leech. You know what I'm saying? And just eating off of you. And then the next way is financial bullying. So that's pulling things over your head that maybe they paid for or done for you. They could pocket check you. So pocket checking I have here. Uh, they could be downplaying how much money that you have um, or how much money you make. So maybe you make less than them. They could like make fun of you, poke fun at you, like bully you about how much, how little you make or how little you have. All right. Or they could try to get you to lose your job and not focus on your career. So this could be by distractions or like purposely causing fights or disagreements or trying to like get you away from what you're trying to do or who you're trying to become. Point number four, this is the last point. And this is this is the point where I was talking about in number one. This is the devaluation phase. Look of money, time, energy, okay, gifts. If they were being really you know generous with you in the beginning, you know the last few months or however long that you're with this person, you can witness them not doing as much as they used to in the beginning because it's almost like they had you, but there's a part of them that doesn't want you to see them on them or they want to make you feel low. But whatever the reason is that they hid this part of themselves from you was because of something within themselves. The devaluation phase, they withhold from you, right? They place, if y'all had a place together, if y'all were living together, or if y'all had joint bills together, or had kids together, right? They place all the um, financial matters on you. All the financial responsibility falls on you because this person is irresponsible, okay? They couldn't keep up with their half of the deal, all right? And then for some of y'all, y'all could have dealt with people stealing from y'all. So these people will steal from you. Or right, they will, you know, try to rob you for what you got or like take whatever it is that you love away from you. Steal from you, steal your ideas. You're going to continue to go through this cycle with them. It's going to be a continued cycle until you understand that they don't completely, truly care or love you the way that they say that they do. Actions speak louder than words. Money is one way that they try to control situation so keep your eyes open be keen be cognizant all right i love you
will also in touch. Class is adjourned. And I'll talk to you.